glad to have you on the discussion segment of Good Morning Anambra this morning. And this morning, we have with us in the studio, um, Kanayo Obidebu, a public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me and compliment of the season. Thank you. And we also have Simon Wan for Azo, former, who also is a public affairs analyst. Good morning. Dan Ambra and all our viewers. Well, I still remain Ajulu Chukokabwe, and I'm not alone. I'm here with Chidima Oranwa, my amiable anchor, co anchor. And this one we'll be talking about 2023 Utah, the Brewing Nara shortage. I'm sure wherever you are listening and watching us, you definitely know that there's been some form of scarcity of Nara at the ATM. Um, slot machines, even at the banks, you go there to withdraw money and they tell you that they can't give you um, the exact amount you want, probably they're giving you short of what you asked for. And with our discussion this morning, we'll definitely be looking into it and see how best we can navigate this period with the little um, um, cash in circulation. And then probably what the CBN has for us, because they assured us that before the end of this week, there is definitely going to be enough cash in circulation. So quickly, uh, let us go to you, Kanayo. Have you had a little bit of this narrow crunch um, since this yield tide uh, began? Have you been to the bank or the ATM and in need of some cash and then you hear there is no enough cash, maybe manage this and stuff like that? Well, I think it is only uh, a person that is in mass, not in this, on this earth, on this earth. and particularly Nigeria that we would have experienced it. Uh, it is a shame that the federal government brought in a policy of Renaira design and in the process created not only tension, created poverty, created debt. When I mean debt, I mean human beings dying as a result of a policy, a very bad policy taken by a particular government. It is, it is a crime against humanity. We are looking at it now without the insight of what happened during the redesigning of this night. What Nigeria went through, we are just talking about scarcity, scarcity. I'm going back to the effect, the consequences of a bad policy of the so-called egghead economic spin doctors that we claim to have had in this country managing our economy. It is unbelievable that with statistical data, they knew how much that was in circulation before the redesigning of the Naira. MFNL, who everybody says is a first class material, is a his, uh, the, his character is impeccable. Discussed directly with His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, not even the, the Minister of Finance, not even any other any other technical uh, you know, uh, group that actually looks at our physical position, and uh, they were able to come with in their own wisdom to change the naira and put the whole country into into sham, and they are talking about bail. You are talking about bail. What of the, you know, the number of people that died during the change and the, whatever they call it, whatever name they branded it. So therefore, what I'm trying to say or put across to our people is that this crime of changing of Naira and the consequences of the scarcity is a crime committed by a group of people in this country, and it appears that Nigerians are docile. I'm sorry to use that word. Otherwise, it couldn't have happened anywhere in any polity. There would have been tension all over the places. I am not advocating for tension. But I am saying that the, the effect of what it has cost us in human debt, I'm not talking about the lost in the economic uh, uh, activity. But there were some governors that went against that policy that now got an extension up to the 30th of this year. I mean, this month, you understand? There was an extension that both the old and the new Nera notion should still be in circulation. Shouldn't that have alleviated what we had then, now prior to this time, one year after? 
we are still talking about Mera shortage. I'm talking now, let me get into the new... That is the Supreme Court. That is the Supreme Court. No, when, I'm not saying that yeah. the new administration yes. who saw the effect of what the resigning, the resigning of Naira did to Nigerians and they came in now as a new administration and have not done anything. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And they have not done anything. They allowed Nigerians to suffer. We have actually adopted the cash, uh, cashless policy. Okay, it is assumed that our institutions that is attached to our you know financial transactions yeah. would have been working like the credit card. All the companies would have been having credit card. All the financial the finance services should have credit card, as it is done in an enduring economy, economy where people are thinking. So my my concern is that why this administration have not deemed it very important. Between the time they went to court, <coughs> by the court, for these two currencies to run Side concurrently, yeah. Yeah. and eventually by now there would have been what an answer. And today there's no answer. All right, let's let's uh, come to you, Simon. If I can remember, talking about the, uh, the both currency running concurrently, I think that the Supreme Court has already given verdict that should be in November, saying that both currencies should be running concurrently, and then gradually the banks will absorb the old one and make available the new yeah. one. Sure. Now but I'm coming to before now. Yes, I know we had this policy of changing the naira yeah. notes and all that, but. Before this December, we mm. have been living so well. Mm. We've been having enough cash in circulation. Then all of a sudden, now we are in the month of December, the festive period, and we are talking about cash coins. You go to bank, they tell you if you want to withdraw uh, any, a sum of 100,000, they tell you they cannot give you anything more than 20,000 naira. Now, what actually is the problem? Are we also going to blame the government? Or are we not going to blame ourselves for people that are mopping Holding. up the cash? and probably storing it somewhere else. Thank you very much. Um, um, that is where I wanted to come in, and the, rightly you asked me a question on it. I think we should blame the government. Do you know why? They said that uh, although the citizenry shares in the blame, but <clears throat> as I was saying in the studio, radio studio the other day, laws are created because the framers of law know that you must have deviants in the society. You must have lawbreakers. That is why laws are put in place. And that is why if you have a very good institution that will enforce that law, their duty is to check and to be proactive, to check people who are trying to sabotage the enforcement of the law. And then you need it on the board. But because, as I was saying in the studio that day, but, when, but, but he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. If the person on the top, if the leaders are clean enough, are people of integrity, they will be very firm to execute, to enforce the law, to make sure. But when we have people who are not, who are not even interested in getting things to work, in moving this, then everybody, it will be to your taste. So everybody, will, because the person who is looked upon to enforce the law is not interested, is not even uh, is, uh, looking for a way to break his own law. How can he be serious in enforcing it? Look, now let me come to your question. Now, as you said, even the old system, even the old problem we had, even the Supreme Court, as the, the, the current attorney general went back to court, according, uh, by in collaboration with the CBL, for the court to quash that uh, uh, ruling, then the court extended the, this thing, the uh, using of the two naira indefinitely. That was what the, the judgment of it. Indefinitely, until this, the whole thing is normalized. Now, what can cause this type of thing? Do you know even before in this December, you will go to a bank to withdraw money. They will, need it, they will tell you anything more than 100,000, go to ATM. Then you go to ATM to withdraw. They will not give you anything more than 10,000 at a go. And then I'm not telling you, I'm telling you what I experienced. 
Then there was a day we came, the highest you can withdraw from any, the, the, in that bank there, in that is the end bank, the highest you can withdraw is 40,000. And, and you cannot use two ATM. The security was there. They say it was the mandate. You cannot use two, just we were in line for your money. You cannot use two, only one ATM, and you cannot withdraw more than 40,000. So if you have a need to pay, and that, I think that was weekend or Monday also. If you have a need to pay somebody, then they, they, they used to say you cannot withdraw more than 100,000. Now it's 40,000. Then there was a day I came to withdraw, to make transfer. You cannot transfer more than 50,000 naira. The, the, the thing we refuse. So these are the, you see that they are man-made problems. If the government, if the institutions are working, if the government is serious, why should people be suffering like this? Why are they subjecting people in this way? I think when I summed it up before coming here, that thing, we have a problem in this nation. We have a problem. And the, and the, the people who are leading will be doing as if they are just beating about the bush. No, you cannot see somebody who is focused, who knows where he's going, who, will show, who is going, showing people that there must be light, that is, uh, that is moving towards improving the, uh, the uh, sufferings in the society. But they just uh, uh, from fi frying pan to fire, just uh, tomorrow will be, more, uh, will be worse than today. Uh, so, but then, uh, while you're talking about this, but then, um, the central bank came up to say that a lot of Nigerians, individuals, and even corporate entities are being accused of stashing Naira notes, either in their vote at home, either in their offices, that there is no enough money in circulation. If there is no enough money in circulation and there is enough being printed by the federal government, would you not blame the government for that stashing? Yes, I have to blame the government. Why would I not blame the government in the first place? For actually concealing the redesign of Naira at a particular period in this country, when they came up with the, uh, the, 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 the uh, what they call the cashless economy we are supposedly to be practicing, which we are not practicing anywhere, the government should have known that by nature, Nigerians are not cashless. The traders in Kano, such as Naira, people have been paid to count money and then stop it. In Kano market, in Onita, in Ekoka, people keep currencies in their shops and their vaults. So what are you now trying to tell us? Are you, by this policy, reoriented Nigerians not to stash money? Who is interested in the banking system of this country? It doesn't work. Yes, if it works, nobody would have. No, in America, nobody thinks of keeping dollars in this, even in this wallet, more than $50 in this wallet. But in this country, we keep money in our, under our bed. We, did, uh, we, we have found money in soccer ways. We have found money in safety, safety tanks. tanks. We have found money in water tanks done by the people in power. Do you know that we have more dollars in this country, raw dollars, than we have in America? Reason, nobody moves about with cash. Whatever you want to, transaction you want to, anywhere, anytime, even at the comfort of your bedroom, you can order for uh, uh, anything you want. Mm -hmm. And then your credit card will pay for it. But this country, you have found a situation now that you will get an alert mm. from your customer mm. and it will not reflect. Why is our financial institution that porous? That is what I don't understand. Yes, cybercrime is worldwide, okay? But a situation where Nigeria only is so, so common that our children who are all computer enthusiasts are now cyber criminals and government is not doing anything about it 
We saw the hospitals of this world. Nobody is hearing about hospitals uh, anymore. Do you know what? He is helping the Americans now, putting the FBI, CIA, to, be, <coughs> to circumvent all this cyber crime because he knows the system. So what I want, my, I'm trying to say is that government has not done it. <coughs> okay. Government should do it now. There's something you say I want to, I want to talk about. You yes. mentioned of people in yes. uh, open markets like in Cardo, yes. you know, transacting business okay. with raw cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Even people in around here, let's not even go far. Mm. Yeah, aroma. Aroma, yes. even in the markets. Yes. yes. But there's something I noticed last week. Mm -hmm. I, I went to the market. Amini market. Yes. What? Yes. Um, I used to have somewhere, you know, I get cash from. I went there, they said no cash. Yes. I understood. So I was like, okay, let me go home. Then on a second thought, mm -hmm. I went to where they were selling meat. I asked one of the guys there, do you have, uh, what do you call it? POS. Uh, POS. Yes. The guy said, no, I don't have, but my brother mm. does. So I now met the brother, okay. Now I just want to, you to withdraw the money. I want you to buy yeah, the meat. The guy said, do you want cash? Mm. I said, yes. He said, how much do you want? I said, how much can you want? I said, even if I want 100K, you can give it to me. Yes. Now you understand what I mean? Mm. Okay, I now say, okay, just give me 10,000. I just mm. want to use it to mm. run around. He brought money. Big cash. Now the question is, if they now transact business, uh, like, like people pay with money, why is money not circulating? But, like, but, because now from there, I got the money. And they, it, mm. the charge was just the normal charge. They yes. didn't add, they didn't subtract. Okay. You see, because Nigeria created a situation where every big Tom and Harry makes money. You know, we don't have, we don't have employment. Everybody employs himself. Mm. You try to create your own job. Mm. So it is a way of creating job. You remember the, 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 the time the, the GSM came out? Yeah, people, was umbrella, way. umbrella, people yes, were making people, see, people, uh, So now POS has taken over the banking institution and brought it, uh, domesticated it. So if you go to where there is no bank anywhere, there is bank there, because POS is there. Mm. And it is so convenient. That is why anybody that mops up Naira, like the young man, mm. would like to do some business and gain money. Because if you pay two hundred naira for ten thousand, he has gained. Do you can you calculate how many people, how many persons that come to market that look for such money? Is he not making money? It is a bad policy created by this government. That's but it is in a way good because he created employment and he created the robbery too. That, because that's they the, are being robbed. Uh, and the <laughs> some and the robbers can. Let me let me add a little to that. That's what I wanted to say. Do you know that? Why I said that all these things are caused by the leaders. Now, you know, even though it has some little uh, benefits, but uh, look at it. Just as she said, I experienced something. I went to a pharmacy shop to buy drugs some, some weeks ago. I finished there, asked them for their ATM, uh, POS. They gave me. I tried about two of my... Um, Empty uh, cars. It didn't work. Yes. The, and the, some of them, the risk there is some of the times they will, uh, will beat you. you. But the thing will not. Uh, when you get home, I have, it, I have experienced it. They said it didn't work. But when I got home, yes, the thing they beat yes, me. Yes. I had to go back to the, uh, to the pharmacy. This one, the two, two times, two uh, different. Uh, they said it didn't yes. work. Uh, but they told me that there is uh, their neighbor who is using POS. Mm -hmm. that, uh, so you see, by that time, that one now, if I have used their own, I wouldn't have paid anything because it is inside their account. Okay. But now I am forced to patronize their neighbor mm -hmm. and they pay the cost. That is one thing. So that person that told you my brother is, is another way of uh, benefiting the brother, creating, that is one. Then secondly, as I told you now, the day I went to the bank to make transfer to withdraw it fell do you know that there was some cash little cash i collected i wanted to do send to some lawyers for transport in Alicia because i was in our but unfortunately that day court didn't see because the chief judge went to prisons in around Alicia. so i told the pos guard that i gave the money if there is need i called him how to transfer it i told her to so i had to keep that money 
Because I have seen the experience of what I experienced within the period. This is before December. I think that was the ending of November. I had to keep, it was only recently, that last week, that I made mistake. I have used the money. I made the mistake to use it to pay some oh, tax and so on. Then I got out of cash completely. <laughs> that I started yesterday looking for where to get cash. And I asked one boy, can you give me? He said he has up to 100,000. But to go to POS to transfer, the POS person said he doesn't have up to 100,000. So, that, so to tell you that government, that, that's why this is the system that is causing all these things. Otherwise, if the things are flowing, if somebody knows that uh, if he disposes the cash in his uh, possession mm -hmm. and he goes to the bank and he will run, why would you keep it? And that, that's another thing because I remember that, that period when uh, during the election when they redesigned the Naira mm -hmm. notes and a lot of people we are bringing out uh, yeah. the old currency. Mm -hmm. Yes, we saw some that we are already. Uh -huh. already that, that, no, now after that, I didn't know that people will still have the mind to stack up cash because they know that Be the because the system is creating difficulty and suffering for the people. That's what that, I told you. My own, not my level. I had to about just to a small money, but yet. I had to kill so that I can see money to transport myself. I, will you be coming here now? You will not have. Will you enter K K man and say I want to do to transport? Yes, so that, period, that, that, that period, that is true. No, not speaking now. now. But they are yet even within that, even that now, previous. But the truth, truth be said, I think we should, uh, apart from the fact that we are talking about this and government should do something mm. because it's it's affecting people badly, especially this festive yes. I think we should embrace. Uh, I mean, e-banking and all that. That is all true. Of. That is very but correct. How efficient is it? I understand we have uh, to hey, And then but you have to take it gradually. The government, if we have it to seems, It seems that we relaxed after what happened in February. We all relaxed, thinking that nothing... We, we thought December was a very long time. You see, the population of this country, whether we like it or not, that are lettered or that mm. use this technology, uh -huh. the market will be. Uh -huh. Many. How many people have Android Somebody phone like and the mobile application? Do it. I don't. I don't I, have I, it. I, I am protecting the little money I have in the bank because I know that is that true, my brother. Cash. That is okay. And for you to have a little hinge in doing transaction in this country, mm -hmm. and you went to the bank, they take you through affidavit, uh -huh. and probably because of fifty thousand, you are not getting it in the next two months. <laughs> But I can tell you, it doesn't happen anywhere. In advanced countries, we have insurance. Any transaction through the bank that is seen for a customer to have not been done, they will go to remit your money back mm -hmm. and pass it over to the FBI for investigation. Even when you write a dot check and purchase something and go, they will turn it to once it is investigated that it was not you, they gave it to the authority that will look for the guy and they will get him. It might not, it might take like six months, okay? But they will get him because they are efficient and they are working. But in this country, you can imagine our police, you can imagine our DSS, you can imagine all these uh, 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 parastatals that are supposed to be helping me and you. Tell a market woman that is selling uh, 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 and so on that you want to travel. Mm. Uh, 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 you understand what I'm saying? But an average European operates an account. So is it, is it, isn't, isn't that the responsibility of the government to sensitize these people on the use of this in order to yes. forestall things like this? If and, you, if and, you, and if you check in recent time, why is it always at Christmas? We have this. That is the problem. Why is, is it always is during Christmas? The of me and you, a society where people don't believe in the government. And I can tell you that government has a slave to this country to a point where they don't agitate anymore. Okay? That and is they are helping the matter by not even, like she rightly said, disposing of the matter they have. <coughs> because he, she, he or she is not sure mm. going to the bank. To get, to get it. And then you will transfer those money to his or her account. But she goes to the bank to do what? To replenish the stock. And she's not getting it. And the money is there. I mean, this country is what I don't understand. And people don't, the judiciary is not helping us either. 
Because if it is a good country, and I as an individual suffer as a result of the inefficiency of any financial institution, I want to make some money. Okay, now, um, quick, let me come to you, um, Barrister. Can an individual sue a bank? It's uh, very possible. N like, do you know, For failing on their duty, Thank you. can an individual sue a bank? Thank you very much. My brother was talking. I, it seems he was prophesying the situation I passed. Just recently, I'm not telling you. Just exactly. First of all, he said about uh, that he's not operating. Now, now Tedema was saying about uh, uh, operating <laughs> e-banking. E now, I wanted to send something to my mother. I will come to your answer. I wanted to send money to my mother. Even 2,000, 3,000, you will have to look for somebody, a neighbor that has bank account. Yeah. She doesn't have. Yeah. And then can she go to bank? Yeah. So you send it. And then it took us weeks. The neighbor just go and give her the money. And then uh, waiting for me. I tried so many days. It didn't work until it uh, finally resulted. That is one. Two is there some weeks ago, just a few weeks ago, I am operating about three or four savings. I there was a payment made into my Zenith bank account. Because of, because I don't used to allow uh, as much money into any account. That's a policy. I don't allow more than 100,000, 200 in one savings account. Because of what he said. I have experienced it just a few weeks ago. These bad boys swapped my ATM card. Dear at Zenith bank. So if, it, if not that, if the money up there is up to one, uh, 500, one, it's because, God, luckily enough, I have made some transfer, money transferred by somebody to give to lawyers at Onesha. Then I have finished the transfer. Not knowing that it's those bad boys that we are patrolling there. I've said it here. So one more thing, did you, uh, we are pretending as if it was not working. Did you, I said it was. So no, it should not be incomplete. Before I would they snapped, I didn't know he so, so, took my, he said, let me try, so, snapped it from, uh, snatched it from my hand to, check, to try for me. I didn't beg him. Wow. I didn't know that he has swapped it yes, and did. brought another one. Yes. Before I would know his advantage. So that is, before I could, I was suspecting, he just uh, pretended as if he was answering okay. phone. And then their colleagues, when I was following him, he, one of his colleagues, uh, Oga, uh, I think you say you want to tra come here to, di to dis uh, uh, di uh, distract me from yeah. falling. Before, you could, uh, before I got to home, they, they, my, they have cleared my account. That is why. <laughs> they will, you will not collect more than from the bank. But in an ATM, they can, you can transfer uh, 100,000, 200,000. That is coming to your own. Lastly, a few weeks ago, I went and the money was paid into my Zenith bank account. I, want, I transferred to UBA. I transferred to First Bank. They suspected that I was transferring. What I, I went to do, another thing, that they blocked my ATM. What, when I went into the bank, they did not invite me. That one alone is enough for somebody to sue the bank. If there is any discrepancy you discover, you alert the person. That is the supposed to be the situation. If Nigerians get yeah. to know that you can sue the bank, don't you think that it will curtail all this in excess? Do you know that I bank? had to advertise? When I was preparing for that, I had to advertise it in the uh, lawyer's platform. To give, say, they brought some cases to me. They cited some, even the one involving EFCC. They didn't know. I was preparing for them. So that when I pursue the peaceful means, it didn't work. I went there. For days, they, they, were doing, they said I had to go to Gidi, where I opened the account, and met, meet my market. I said I cannot do that. It's supposed to be your internal affair. We'll connect them. They said, okay, right. After the writing, and eventually, lucky enough, I had a matter at the High Court. So I called the Gidi person. And the, the girl who dodged that day. But thank God, we, I went there. The result. I said, even if the, what they said is the name, the name in your BVN, this and that, is not exactly the okay, name. I, I want to but I have been operating the for years, yo. Okay. See where I want to come in. Eh? We have introduced the NIT and we have introduced the BVN, BVN, BVN. The financial aspect of our life mm -hmm. there in this country. And yet, money is being transferred to an account that is domiciled in any bank. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, when such transaction is done and it's a, a criminal act, nobody traces the account holder mm. in this country. Uh -huh. So I, sometimes I don't understand what the system is. But you see, uh, if in that domicile account, if you now want to go and withdraw money, they will not tell you about the irregularities that's, that's in the account. I'm telling you. you see, you see uh, somebody came up the other day, a lawyer who was talking about a particular bank in this country that has some syndicated criminals uh -huh. within the system. That is the point. What, uh -huh. that when they see a big volume of money mm -hmm. and inflow, they will trigger an alert to block you for explanation. And in the process, it takes you some days. Mm. Okay? By the time you know it, you are going through their so-called interrogations and all that, and your money is being used either to their customers to, to for transaction. Eh? For transaction, within that period of time, okay. they will now come back to open up your account for you to operate. And you wouldn't know. My problem is that I am, I am a programmer. I write program. I know how program works within a loop. I know when a logic bank is being introduced for any person to know that this is logic bank, this is hackers coming in. So, but on, on, on that alone, I don't understand why banks still don't have experts uh -huh. that could, by the dictate, you know, watching, dictate. Yes, watching the system, because every bank supposedly have to have a, a, a room where transactions have been monitored. Just like in the customs. If you are not paying your correct duty, the custom director in Abuja is watching whether you pay the good duty, whether you paid, whether you circumvented. He's there because of technology. So banks, because of what we call uh, on, uh, uh, you know, uh, on real-time basis. Real-time basis means that if I carry out a transaction in Kaduna, it will reflect in Ogidi back. But in those days, when crime, when financial are being committed, there's not West Bank upstairs, there's not West Bank downstairs, mm -hmm. two, two banking outside there. Yeah? You go there and cash money with your check, they'll pay you. You go up there and cash money with your check, they'll pay you. That's what some of our guys does in New Year. By the time they know it, but not now anymore. Because as soon as you are doing one transaction, it's reflecting wherever. Immediately. Because the interfacing of uh, the technology now in the banking institution should indicate when they are, we are having a withdrawal that is unusual. All right. In, uh, all, from all indication, we need a complete overall oh, overhaul yes. in the oh, banking yes. sector oh, and yes. also oh, uh, yes. some of the financial That's right. Oh, that's yes. right. Now, um, coming back to you know what we are talking about, the 2023 yield tides, mm. and then this brewing Naira shortage. If this actually continues, I uh, guess, like you said earlier, that they have promised us before the end of the week that something will be done. But peradventure, nothing happens, and we continue <laughs> like this, just like Simon said that this morning he, he, he had to look for money and all that. And my colleague also, he's looking for money. Even me, we are all looking for money. Now, if this Is continues, that what uh, dropping some money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so actually, if this continues, uh, yes. what do you think will happen this period? Yes, listen, I, uh, I, we all have been, uh, we developed such a thick skin mm. that Nigerians absorb anything. Uh, I want to put it that way. Mm. You know, suffering uh, and smiling. You know, these period people want listen, to travel yes. and mm. all that. When you, when some of us read Animal Farm, you saw mm. what happened in our farm. Mm. You know, at a point they did that revolution mm. against the Mr. Jones, mm. and then they, it was successful by his fellow and the rest of them. So we have not actually suffered enough. What transpired during this political period has not even taught Nigerians. Nigerians are the easiest people to rule in the world. Uh -huh. The easiest. Introduce any policy. For uh, scarcity, uh, introduce uh, what they call it, uh, subsidy removal. One day, the next two days, I see one name, Chakwal, and Jamal, for a You see what? Well, that, that so is the we point. Are not, we are not saying no to bad policy. Therefore, continuation of it 
that I could say that or chin again. People are suffering. I can imagine what is going to happen in the next week from all the locations of this country going home. Mm. You can imagine the hack. I, will, I, I did, a, I, did an, I mean, a movement of goods from Kaduna with 20,000 one week ago. And the same quantity is now 55,000. What? Okay. Yeah, to bring it down, the same quantity, 55,000, double the price. Hmm. Reason, the same as Christmas can happen. I, we, I, we don't actually, you know, help That's ourselves. Question, we don't have control. Government doesn't have control. No, con that is the yeah. point. We don't have control of because, what is happening hmm. in this country. Otherwise, you don't wake up one morning and saw that the bread that is six dollars is nine nine dollars. No, it doesn't happen anywhere. You see, but in this country, the Suya man will tell you that uh, the the nama is costing too much. I went to buy uh, 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 a car two days ago. They told me that formerly they were transporting through trailer one car for seventeen thousand, but it's now fifteen thousand. Therefore, the price has come up hmm. almost twice. So, you see, we don't help ourselves. I'm hearing this morning that the, I mean, the Portaco refinery will pop out BMS, that it will bring down the road. But it's not going to happen. But we saw Buhari commissioning the Dangote. Mm. That is yet to take off. Why would you now hoodwink Nigerians and tell us these lies? Right. So, Nigerians are not actually helping themselves. We need. My, uh, we were at the radio station yesterday. Dr. Arugo was like, <coughs> a revolution in this country. Okay. We'll get to uh, uh, solutions. <laughs> uh, but right now, let's uh, go and um, get um, you know, views of people out there in the street, people Thank that you. we interview uh, concerning the, t uh, the issue we are discussing. It, and we also have some commercial messages we bring all to you now. Stay with us. This a change of naira notes, and now we are suffering it again. Especially in this uh, season, that everybody needs to do one or two things. People are not having cash. It's really affecting people, especially the business people. So it is not making sense. I think Nigeria should have grown uh, past this this condition. So my advice to them is that one, the commercial bank they should try as much as possible to end the process. Of it. The masses, so that, so that people will be going to buy. Because you know, there is no way you have money if people are not going to go to the business. So the banks will first of all end the cost of it so that people will start depositing. This cashless money is on a hit. People now are about like me. On a hit, is very very bad now. Because if they withdraw, I can't withdraw. If they keep going out there, I think it with the cash. So it's a very great. Uh, uh, disturbance to the people and to me. The printing of Naira notes, I don't know, people are holding it. Uh -huh. So now, Ojona, Tonya Obona, Tonya Obona, now I talk, I'll be able to get you a few zone and face five period. So all now I will have the major problem. So, Oya, Jude, Ozoya, I'm sure you use it. I advise uh, CBN specifically because we are the procedure of the Naira notes. So I advise that. Uh, implement, uh, print more notes or uh, bring out more notes to the 
it had happened before and it's happening again. It seems uh, the bankers don't want us to enjoy a Christmas uh, holiday and to see our relations when we come back. Because I wrote um, a check of uh, 400,000. They said they should give me only 20,000, which may not even help me. Then my candidate advice is that uh, they should look into it, especially Christmas period. So allow us, if you come back to you will be able to, to help the needies in your own community. Ne? With the scarcity of uh, cash, you know, we could not help uh, the needy in our needs before you go back. Uh, so let them improve on that. The new Milo 3 in 1 Milky and Creamy is truly milky and contains calcium. No need to add milk for that rich, creamy cup, which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Beautiful is your name. Wonderful is what you are to me. Every mom, a treasure beyond measure. Three crowns milk, healthy moms, happy families. The new Milo 3-in-1 Milky and Creamy is truly milky and contains calcium. No need to add milk for that rich, creamy cup, which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Glad to have you back. We're still talking about uh, 2023 yield time and the brewing um, Naira shortage as experienced currently in Nigeria. And we still have with us Kanayo Obidibo and Simon Wafo Eze, a former. And quickly, let us round up. What do you think the federal government can do in order to forestall this shortage? Because this 2020, I mean, this uh, Christmas yield time Naira shortage has been on for as long as I can remember. Yes, let me wrap it up in Lingo. Actually, can you do that? And you understand. And you check with the federal government. Can you do that? Can you? Malna, Nigerian Revolution. Kuna Obuna. Bolo. Onye, 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 I'm a presidential aspirant to go now. If I am a cop, no, I'm not going to change the world. I am a woman. I'm going to bread the whole one naira. No, no, for one naira, I can't even get a degree. So the government is not going to go get the government in the Okaiche. No government in Nigeria for the other man in Nigeria. Now even now, young people are able. Any any other government, I can. We are not even the people do. Because like Jeremy said. Otherwise, ministers moto you join the house of members, they are going to give them some deco, mm -hmm. maybe five five million. If you don't cause up, now I'll be on a screen. Now see, uh, take that token. You might go. The the one who the the buy in the in the street in Anna thirteen million naira a month, which is one million naira every day. In the house of rep, Anna twenty seven million naira a month. Check is in my now go check the my. Five hundred thousand a month. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to appeal to our people that we are at the suffering end of the entire thing. That our change of orientation, change of attitude yeah. towards wealth, wealth should assist us to cushion the effect of bad policy. We they can't change. 
it has been a recurring decimal of bad policies by different governments. All right. Okay, yeah. from you, uh, Simon, now we are in a uh, festive period, Yuletide. Uh, what's your advice to people as regards to what we are experiencing, the cash crunch and all that? What's your advice to Ndibu? I cannot be going on our battle Christmas. We come back from different places. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. Because it's not just Christmas. It's mm. time we come mm. back together as mm. families and yeah. discuss yeah. issues yeah. concerning us. So, what's your advice? Thank you very much. I will follow the footstep of my colleague. Now, don't vent your anger to your fellow brother or fellow Nigeria who is suffering the same thing. Uh, Asana, uh, every Aya Kasi Aya Baguno, Obuna, any house they divided, I understand. If you Notice if you know that you are you all of us are on the receiving end, you will not go and try to inflict injury on your brother or your sister so that as, as a result and claim that it is because it's not your fault, it's the government, it's the leader. So, uh, some people will do kidnapping, some people will do armed robbery, and so on and so on. It's not our fault. I have a government in your line here, and so on and so forth. So the same thing as he said, do not try to exploit your brother or your sister. Because now he say it's not my fault. Oh, if Tinibu, that person you are harming is not Tinibu. Sure. It's not Buhari. It's not MFL. It's not this. So we are suffering the same thing. And since we are suffering the same thing, I think they, even in the Bible, the lepers say, since we are rejected by the ten lepers, then let us unite ourse uh, by ourselves. Let us not reject ourselves also. And they achieve much. So right. my advice is let people endure it and have hope. Well, our hope is not in government, but in God, and the future will be better. All right, that's it on the show this morning. I want to say a very big thank you to both of you for joining us. Can I, your obedibu, our public affairs analyst? Thank you, and happy Christmas and New Year in advance. As we are waiting for our own Christmas largesse from you. And yes. also, yes. Simon, you are friends of former. Thank you so much for joining us on the show this Thank morning. you very much. And you. bye. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year in advance. All right, and uh, that's it on the show. We want to say a very big thank you to you for being part of it. And uh, you know, we are all Nigerians and we know that all of us, you know, we are suffering this cash crunch or Naira shortage. But then again, we have to keep hope alive and also be prudent in our spending this period. Um, from me, I will say have a nice day. And from me, good day and have a nice time. Thank you.